hi guys welcome to my channel in today's video i will share with you a potent and easy to make hair growth oil for fast hair growth this oil can also be used on your children's hair please watch to the end of the video i have here three red onions which is the main ingredient for our recipe of today you can always uh, use any onion of your choice be it the white or the yellow onion it also works out fine i'll start by taking off my onion peels please do not over peel your onions because the peels is also beneficial for hair growth after taking off my onion peels i'll go ahead and wash the onion please always make sure to wash your ingredients before using them in order to take away the dirt and bacteria after washing the onions also make sure to take uh, to dry the onion because we do not need uh, any water in our recipe so guys i'm making this oil for a child i'm making for a little girl she's uh, two years plus so i'll be making the oil as a uh, kid friendly as much as possible she has some bad spots on her uh, scalp so uh, I'm making this oil so that uh, it will help to regrow her hair back. But I'm also going to customize the oil in, a, in such a way that an adult can as well use it. So please keep on watching. So after washing the onion and, and taking away the water, I'll go ahead and slice the onion into tiny pieces because I'm going to blend the onion. So. It's good to slice the tiny pieces in order to ease the blending process. So this is the quantity of onion that I obtained after the slicing process. You can always customize the recipe by using the quantity of onion according to your hair needs. We also need some carrier oils in order to ease the blending process. I have here some sunflower oil, some almond oil and some coconut oil which we use in our recipe of today. I will go ahead and transfer the sliced onions into a blender and adding the carrier oils in order to ease the blending process. For the quantity of my onion, I'll go ahead and measure 300 milliliters of both the sunflower oil and the almond oil. I will use some of the oil uh, in order to blend the onion. Guys, please make sure to blend uh, your onion with uh, some carrier oil in order to ease the blending process and not to damage your blender. After the blending process, this is the, the onion paste that we have obtained. We we'll go, go ahead and transfer into a pan. It's always advisable to use a non-stick pan so that they uh, uh, will not burn your ingredients. After transferring the, uh, the onion paste into a pan, I'll transfer it on the fire or put it on very low heat, guys. Always put your ingredients on very low heat so that you will not kill the properties of the onion. So immediately, I, I place my pot on the my pan on the fire. I'll go ahead to add the remaining oil which I measured, which I earlier measured. I'll also add in some rosemary, dried rosemary leaves. I'll just add it a uh, half teaspoon of the rosemary leaves. You know, onion, as, uh, as onion has a strong smell, these rosemary leaves will also help to mask the smell of the onion, the, of, the, of the onion, and as well add more benefits to the oil, as rosemary is very beneficial for hair growth. When uh, your pot starts to, to bubble, you make sure to stir from time to time so that it will not stick under the pot. Onion has a lot of benefits for hair growth as it prevents hair loss, hair breakage and also promotes hair growth. Onion also has antibacterial and antifungal properties that can help to reduce dandruff and other scalp infections. After about 10 minutes, I'll turn off the heat under the, my pot and add in some coconut oil. I'll add in 2 tablespoons of coconut oil. 
I will also, also adding some bay leaves, some moringa leaves, and some curry leaves, and stir them all together. I will take off the pot from the from the from the fire and just let it to cool down and let the those the leaves to infuse into the oil before I'll then later strain. So this is our oil. It has cooled down and the herbs have infused into the oil. I'll then go ahead to strain the oil. I'll use some cheesecloth. You can always use a stocking cap, a wig cap, or a sieve. Always make sure to, to but make sure to strain it. It's very important you have to take take away the residues. Guys, these herbs which I'm using in, in this oil is uh, they're optional. If you do not have them, just go ahead and use only the onion. I added in the herbs, the herbs so that they, they, they also uh, bring more benefits into the oil as herbs are also very beneficial for hair growth. So after the straining process, this is the quantity of oil that we obtain. I'll go ahead and transfer into uh, an applicator bottle. So this oil which I'm transferring now into this container is kids friendly. So it's for so our, our little girl uh, which I told you. At the earlier, at the beginning of the video, which is going to help to grow the bald, bald uh, spot on her scalp, so I'll give it to her mother. She will apply it on her scalp massage on her scalp to regrow the, the bald spots. I will then go ahead and transfer the remaining oil into another applicator bottle. But this this time around, I'm going to customize the oil in a way that uh, an adult can use it. So I'll add in some black castor oil and some essential oils. I'll add in a tea tree essential oil, peppermint essential oil and uh, lavender essential oil. I'll add in a half teaspoon of the black castor oil and five drops of each of the essential oils. Please, if you are pregnant or a breastfeeding mother, it's not advisable to use essential oils. I'll also go ahead and add some vitamin E capsules in order to prevent the oil from going rancid. I'll also go ahead and add some vitamin E oil into the our little girl's uh, oil because I forgot uh, to add it uh, uh, earlier when I transferred into the applicator bottle. So this is the quantity of oil which I obtained from uh, 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 the onions I use. So I'm going to show you how I apply uh, the oil on my scalp. So I have washed and deep conditioned my hair already. I also uh, plated my protective hairstyle. I'll just show you how I oil my, my scalp. So you apply just a little quantity on on your, your scalp, do not have a saturated scalp with the oil. So I, ju I just put the oil on the lines of my my, uh, my, my protective hairstyle and massage. Do not forget your ages, guys, when you apply the oil. So this oil, you can use it uh, three times per week. You can use it three times per week and apply on your scalp and massage your scalp. Always, always focus on your problem area. If you have any problem area like uh, whatever you have, alopecia, thinning edges or any bald spot you focus there and massage the oil onto the onto your problem area so that it will stimulate the blood flow in the area and promote hair growth my name is adeline i share with you natural ingredients which have helped me to grow my hair if you are watching the video up to this moment and not subscribed yet please subscribe to the channel and join the family let's join us together and grow our hair thank you you can as well use this oil to style your hair. You can also add, add the oil into your shampoo, your deep conditioners. You can use the oil in several ways. Please like and share the video with family and friends. Always feel free to ask your questions and I'll be glad to answer you. After massaging your scalp, you can go ahead and put on some pl a plastic bag in order to incorporate heat so that the oil that you are applied will penetrate into your hair strand, especially if you have low porosity hair. Thank you for watching and see you in my next video. Bye bye.